The Bone Shaker is one of my favorite Hot Wheels cars. It's the favorite of a lot of people. How can you not love that car? I mean, it's perfect. Um, obviously, kids love it, too. Um, this particular car, I like the basic gray paint job. I, I'm never happy with the tampos on the Hot Wheels. I always want to remove those. But uh, I wanted to try and have this be a, a simple, basic build. Because I know a lot of people aren't interested in stripping paint off cars. And, you know, some people aren't interested in, uh, you know, or they worry about tapping the holes when they drill them out. And, you know, there's different concerns. And yet they want to make them unique. So I tried to make this kind of a, a basic, simple build. Uh, and yet make it kind of fancy and and. I had a goofy idea along the way, which you'll find <laughs> find out about, and then uh, I think I saved it, but you'll be the judge of that. Uh, so here I drilled it out, got that little ring out of there, which makes me happy. I use self-tapping screws. That That's always an easy way to go if you're not interested in tapping the holes out yourself. You know, those, those always work too. You can get them off of Amazon. Um, I didn't want to strip the paint on this one. I wanted to, to use this one with factory paint, but I had to get rid of the tampos. So I went back to the dry erase marker approach that I explained in another video. Um, it always amazes me that this works. Um, it, it, it just blows my mind, but uh, you just kind of saturate it with the marker and I uh, keep a paper towel handy, just wet with water, nothing fancy, you know, not like I have uh, lacquer thinner or, you know, anything like that on there. It's just wet paper towel, wet shop towel, uh, but you just work it. And uh, I try to clean it a few times so that it doesn't get too messy, uh, it doesn't get into too many of the cracks in the, in the car and stuff. And I try to use a, a dry erase marker that's somewhat close. That's the closest color I had to the gray was this blue, which obviously isn't close, but closer than yellow or green, I guess. So I just work it and it takes a little while and uh, we'll just do one side in the video here, but you know, I finished the other one off camera, but you can see it, it starts to take it off. And uh, as I mentioned before, my goal was not to strip the paint on this car, uh, not to repaint the car. That comes back to bite me in a little way later, or at least changes my process. Um, but we'll get to that. So I just kept working this and uh, planned on just stripping those tampos off, adding some detail, came up with a goofy idea, fixed the goofy idea, <laughs> but uh, uh, you can see how quickly, you know, it, it seems tedious and yet it really isn't. You just take your time and within a few minutes, really, they're off of one side of the car and, you know, you give it another few minutes for the other side of the car. And these tampos were on there pretty heavy. It wasn't like it was just a, a few little markings. That was pretty heavy marking they had on there. So... Uh, going to get rid of that so uh, just keep working it and that, that I do have it on there pretty heavy as you can see it's pretty wet on there that does seem to make it easier I'm amazed I didn't get any of it on me yet because usually uh, I'm pretty sloppy when I do this <laughs> but uh, worked it and uh, as you can see it's not too shabby you know, for the I think I'm gonna show it to you here in a second yeah so uh, oh had to work it a little bit more there was still some in the cracks that's generally the hardest part is uh, getting the little fine areas that the the tampos get into so just uh, keep working it and there we go. So like I said, I do the other side off camera.
and uh, then I went into the chrome interior. I did not do anything to this other than wash it. Uh, I washed it in soapy water, rinsed it off to get it ready for the uh, metal cast paint. I wanted this to be blood red, so I went with the um, metal cast, the duplicolor metal cast paint, coated that uh, with a few coats of that. Love the way that turned out. It's pretty much exactly what I wanted, what I was hoping for. And then I wanted to highlight that. I, I didn't want regular chrome on here. I wanted to use this red metallic look to it. And then I took Sharpie. Sharpie has gold paint markers, silver paint markers, uh, and brass, as I recall. I used the gold and the silver on this. It's, it's different than the Molotow chrome pins. It, it's a silver, but it's not a chrome silver. I couldn't resist doing the gold teeth. Um, and then I did the, you know, the silver headlights. I did the, the red ring around the wheels was there. I added the gold inner ring to those wheels, uh, but I kept those wheels on there. And this is where I got the goofy idea that I wanted webs. I was thinking of Halloween, wanted webs on inside this thing. So I came up with the idea, well, I'll just use some uh, crazy glue, super glue, CA, and this is the part you're not going to believe. I took cotton and thought, okay, well, cotton can simulate webs. So I'll uh, use the CA and attach the cotton, let it dry, and then I'll pull that cotton to look like webs. And I wasn't happy just using it on the roof. No, I wanted, roof, uh, <laughs> I wanted webs in the back too. So, unfortunately, I added uh, quite a bit of CA back there and attached cotton back there, too. So, at this point, I'm sure you're shaking your heads. I thought I was brilliant. I thought this was a game changer. And uh, let that dry and then pulled it off. And at first, I was happy with it. To some extent, I detailed the rear tail lights. You can kind of see some of the webbing there. But uh, at first I was happy with it. And then I just thought it looked stupid. It, it almost looked like there was smoke inside of the car. You know, if you wanted to simulate the inside of your car being on fire, this seemed to work really well. Um, but the more I looked at it, the more it bothered me. Um, I shot a picture to uh, some other customizers in a chat on Instagram, and one of them commented that it looked a little heavy for webs, that I needed to thin it out more. And I agreed. I absolutely agreed. Um, thinned it out more, and I still didn't care for it. Uh, you, there you can see some of the detail added. So I came to my senses, and I tore it out, which is the best thing I did. I was able to get most of the CA out of the roof, but unfortunately on the back, there was still some. And like I said before, I was not going to strip the paint on this car. Um, so what I did is I took some blue tape, stuck that to the roof, cut out a template the size of the roof, and I decided I was gonna take styrene and make a web of a kind. You can never have enough of these little assortments of rods and tubes and scraps of the, the uh, styrene. Fortunately, I had this assortment. So I started to make webs. And that's what I came up with on the template, I, knowing the size I needed to go. They're a little heavy, but I still liked it. And I wanted to make that gold and then attach it. You can see I kind of did a little more detail in the back. Uh, as you'll see in a little bit, because of the CA behind the cab, there's a, a dark area, kind of a birthmark or a blemish or whatever you want to call it. Let's call it a scar. And uh, I left it because I was not going to strip this. And 
that's kind of my little reminder of what I went through on this car. And I kind of like that it's there in a weird way. But uh, there you can see what I ended up with on this car. I'm pretty happy with the, the top as it turned out. It may or may not look like a web to you. Um, it does to me, and then other times it looks like tree branches. <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure. All I know is I think it looks a lot better like this than it did with the web slash smoke slash cotton ball interior. Uh, I hope you guys think this was an improvement over what was there. Um, obviously, this thing ended up with a lot of coats of clear because I had clear coated it when the cotton ball was there. So it ended up with probably, geez, like six coats of clear. So um, I hope you enjoyed this build. It actually was a fun build. It was different. And uh, you can see the little blemish on the back there. So uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy this video and uh, hope things go a little smoother on the next build. Thanks again.